Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Pal Over Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Warhammer. This one is completely different. I've got the new Lumineph Realm Lords box set, um, which came out today. Um, I'm very happy to have it and I just wanted to do an unboxing video. Uh, this is pretty much one of my first unboxing videos, so this will be probably ropey as hell. Um, so forgive the ropiness of it. Um, my setup is not professional and I have no professional equipment. I just have amateurish stuff and an amateurish attitude at most of the time. Um, but anyway, before we jump into the box, I just want to say thank you for watching these videos. Um, thank you for sticking with me if you are a subscriber. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button above there. If you want a little drop a comment, uh, let me know what you think of these new models, What you're, if you're going to be getting them, if you're looking forward to getting new stuff, uh, or what new stuff you're looking forward to getting in the comments down below and of course hit that like button if you really wish to and of course mortal realm stuff will uh, resume in the very near future but let's jump into this box so this lovely lovely new box came out today uh, mine arrived in the post uh, i got it from goblin gaming um, which is cheaper than buying it from games workshop so if you want to buy it from there uh, there is an affiliate link in the description down below if you order with these guys, not only do you save money, it will help support the channel a little bit further as well. If you really, really want to do it, um, or if you're an international viewer or anything like that, so you from outside of the UK, um, you can use Element Games, who are just as good and give just about the same amount of money off as good old Goblin Gaming do. Um, just be where this is new, so stock levels are going to be up and down all over the place with both companies. Now let's crack open the box, shall we? So I've already had a flick through all of this, so I've to kind of get my uh, lay of the land, so to speak, um, or AKA recording this video three times. Um, so your models are literally the first thing on top. So you've got these cool new sprues, uh, two of these long sprues, which are you kind of your, um, what do you call it, the, the footmen, the foot soldiers for this new elven army. Then you've got your horseback riders, which horseback is not commonly used within the Age of Sigmar. So it's really, really nice to see horses back again in the Warhammer universe. Uh, one thing you will notice as well with the shields, they are very reminiscent of other shields, which are the shields of the Ideneth Deepkin, um, because they are also elves. So with all the elves, they are the the scions of Teclis and Tyrion, um, including the Iden of Deepkin. The Deepkin are just not exactly favoured by the two new elven gods. Um, so, that happened. Uh, so you've got three sprues of horseback riders and horses, uh, and bits and pieces like that, So which is really, really cool. And then you've got Altharion, uh, the light thing, uh, which is the kind of that weird kind of looking unit which has a gaps in between the armor. I'll put a picture up now. Um, so you've got him to build, which is your first commander. Uh, they haven't released any of the other models yet. Uh, I believe they probably will in the very, very near future where you'll get some of the bigger guys and you'll get some of the other bits and pieces as well to get you going with this set. Then you've got all these cards which are a pain in the backside to get out of this box in all honestly uh, so which are all your battle traits uh, objective cards and everything like that as well pretty handy to have because you don't need to buy these separately so as they said when they're promoting all this it's in the box you got your objective markers which you just you push out ones and a measurement guide as well as well as other bits and pieces as well so F quartz markers for the realm of light and stuff like that. So it's of course based in Haish. Then you've got your core rules manual, um, dead simple. Uh, if you've already had the book, you're not gonna need this, um, but it just goes over everything if you haven't had them before. Then you come to this beautiful, beautiful thing here, which is the limited edition exclusive battle tome. Uh, you can't get this from on its own yet at all. Um, the Battle Tome has not been released singly. Um, you'll only be able to get this version of the Battle Tome if you buy this box. So, 
the main difference with it is it has exclusive artwork and it has that gilded edge and everything like that and the book is very very nice when you get into it um, it's got some very very nice artwork it's got a lot of history of what happened um, where the where the these new elves live uh, as a very beautiful artwork as well um, more information on Hayish because you don't really hear about it very often so far and some very good photos of a lot of the units that are coming to this set which is pretty cool uh, and of course you've got your war scrolls in the back as well as some battle plans as well very very nice book um, it feel, it's going to sound really weird this book feels really nice it feels quite soft um, and it is definitely a nice nice addition to your collection of battle tomes if you seem to be building up a collection of them um, and you got all your building plans so how to assemble each figure um, which I'm not going to go into that much at the moment um, because they are L's, they are small, they are fiddly um, I reckon I will have some errors and issues with these uh, but hopefully not too much um, and of course you've got your painting guides on the back if you want to paint it up in the same way that these guys do or you can do it how you really want to it is up to you there are only 10 different clans of these elves um, and they haven't revealed all of them yet and what all of them look like then all your other bits are hidden so you've got all your bases hidden away so horse rider bases and then you've got your Othran, uh base there then on the other side you've got some new dice which are the exclusive dice for this set which are cool uh, clear yellow plastic um, and they'll do you good so you've got plenty of dice to get going and you have an exclusive battle gauge as well for this set so you're not going to be able to get well currently you can't get that separately um, but it's exclusive to a set which is really really nice and a nice addition to have with a set like this so all I'm going to say is this set is really really nice um, you've got a lot of stuff to do there's a lot of models to do uh, well I'll say a lot of models there's 16 models to do um, and it's a nice new addition to your kind of build, ever building armies essentially um, I'm quite happy with this box um, considering well considering the price of it but as I say if you don't want to pay Games Workshop's prices for this box or any other item that they sell go into the description down below click the links it will take you through to Element Games or uh, Goblin Gaming um, and you can get these type of things ordered a little bit cheaper than Games Workshop sell them for you can create a wish list on both websites and you can do a bit of other bits and bits and pieces as and when you want to with them all which is very 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 handy to do this type of thing and that's it um, I'm not going to bore you with any more bits and pieces with it all. Um, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching if you've watched to the end. And um, you may say a painting video of these in the future. I'm not 100% sure yet because I'm not sure what colour scheme I'm going for. But hopefully we'll see something soon. Mortal Realms videos will be back to normal next week when I'm not knocking things over. Um, and yeah, we'll get back in the Mortal Realms magazine um, with some new models next week. Um, some new a new magazine uh, I've got some new painting done and I'm going to try and get those shared with you in the very very near future as well as some other little bits and pieces that may happen soon as always guys so if you want to see any more of these kind of mini unboxing type things um, please drop a comment down below hit the like button subscribe to the channel everything's all good and I will catch you next time bye bye now